backyard. I don't know how much can be seen. We've got a while before sunrise. We're out here at Picket Post Trailhead. We're gonna try to get to the top today. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but we'll see. There's the moon. Aren't those stars pretty? Yeah. I doubt that the camera's gonna pick anything up. These do not do well in low light at all. We don't have any equipment to capture any of it, which I'm not too worried about. Okay. Okay, we're not quite to the trailhead of the summit. some of this as it's really nice out here. You've seen this portion before. So for that in nighttime, I think this is gonna be it for a minute. camera's being fickle. We're going to be sending it off after this trip. I've got the problem figured out, but I can't fix it. GoPro's already going to replace it for me. I just got to send it in and wait probably two weeks. But they were kind enough to give me some coupons and stuff. So, we'll see that. I highly doubt this is showing up. But straight ahead, is Weaver's Needle. Those cars, if you can see them, that's US 60. And we're gonna start zigzagging a little bit. And if all goes well, sometime this morning we'll be up there. All right, we're gonna take quick break because this got rough in a hurry we got about not quite 3,000 feet to climb there is an old hand pump huh we just passed another foundation and it had some studs sticking out of it looked like it ripped off for whatever reason I'm gonna go off trail for a second and get this This is off trail, Libby. Well, I wanna take a gander at this. That's not, damn it. It's a cactus that looked just like one from afar. All right, after that little misidentification, we're back. I'm wondering if trekking poles would have been wise on this. A lot of this is loose. But we'll see. It's interesting, we're getting warm breeze and a cool breeze. There's Libby. There's the moon still. And I'm pretty sure that in front's a current mining operation. At least it appears to be. Again, we're not far off. Just on the other side is old Pinal City. So I'm gonna get up to this little ridge for 
pass this little thing here and get the rest of this. And then we'll be back later. Because I'm getting it's going straight in a hurry. Alright, get a little bit more of this. I haven't gotten far. Waiting for Libby to catch up. This one, this one we're going to take our time on and I'm going to have to stay really close. Elevation gain, rock scramble, they're saying that you lose the path to go up or some graffiti that helps you, but I really have no idea what's in store. And we're going to have to make sure our legs are good and fresh, there's probably going to be lots of breaks. Looks like some pathways out right there. I do not see how to get to them at this point. My assumptions, which are usually wrong with these trails, I wonder if I'm not climbing that shit. And we will see, I guess. But, oh, this is gorgeous. We got the sunrise over here with the colors. We got the moon still. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. Getting closer, and I think I see what we're doing now. Tell you what, this elevation starts to get to you in a hurry. It's not the breathing. It's just you're really starting to feel your weight. Even though I'm going light. It's three liters. Probably more shit in the first aid kit than one would really need. But then again, you just never know. That and you got your security detail and his little friends and the camera stuff which doesn't play much at all it gets to you after a bit oops you guys don't want to see my whiskers Okay, I guess that's the red arrows, but I don't see why they're necessary unless this has just been bad at some point in time. It's getting a little brighter. The moon's still out. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Outstanding. Oh, there's a nice breeze again. I need to learn more of these mountain ranges and what they're called. Soups are in front of us, but there's a bunch of different ones. I'm assuming that's the ridge line over there in that peak. It's 50-57. Flat iron's probably right there just to the left, all the way down or behind where we can't see. It's probably on the other side. I don't know what that rock formation is right there. It's almost as unique as Weaver's Needle. Okay. Get a view of this over here for a bit because it is just as nice for you. I'm seeing trail after trail up in these mountains. I wonder what they are, I wonder where they go to. 
Maybe I need to start playing the lottery so I can go find out. Okay, we're going to turn this off and continue in a bit. Okay, we're getting there. This is no joke. This is a nice little rest spot. Good rock here. Good view. We gotta go up this. Da -da 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 -da. I'm thinking we go up that shit right there. I don't know, I hope not. I hope we get up and follow that ridge around. It looks like over there there's a path. I don't know. It does look like that right there in front is part of the path. We'll know more when we get up here, but we were gonna take us a good one. Cause, let me see if I can get up on this rock a little bit. This is what we just came up. There's like a spine or a little, I don't know what you'd call it, a mini ridge line that we're following. Switch back and up around these rocks. It's not really difficult. Some trip hazards, some loose rocks, but we got good grip. I, I couldn't imagine this being wet. But, I can't believe we're this far already. Yeah, we're pretty far up, but this is where it's going to get serious. So, I say, let's take a few minutes. Yeah. And I think this is where we see a lot of people stop on our beta research. Yep. We're about halfway up according to Gaia. Which, all in all, it really hasn't been too bad. Yep. Okay. Let me focus on what we're going to attempt to do a little bit. You do what you need to do. Chill for a second. So bad. Yeah, that breeze feels nice. Okay. for a little bit. <sighs> Luckily none of this has caught fire. We need to make sure to get that trash out when we get back because that will cause a fire. And then definitely have to come back here in the springtime when all of this is blooming do the loop or do a good part of the enchantment I might even pay money and go in the void and go do that stuff okay this is as high as it gets well I got a little higher but this is above our skill set I get turned around slowly my legs are shaking I got all the way up to that and angle exposure is too much for us I don't want it's it, it's it's misleading once you get there you think you got enough shelf up there but you really don't and you might want to get on your butt and yeah we uh, we don't have the skill sets for that right now and I just don't want to risk it. There's no point to put my damn name on a book. I'll wait until, I don't know. I don't know, we'll figure something out when we get to the bottom. Okay, we're coming down a little farther. I just don't see us having a fun time. The more we look at it, the more you're going up all of that. And we've never done anything like that and I'm, I'm worried about coming down especially being tired I 
I'm not a kid anymore. I got too much shit going on. Too many people relying on my ass. Be doing stupid shit. I mean, I'm gonna try it later. When I'm more equipped. I'm not happy right now, I can tell you that. You get up there, you're very exposed. Your angle of exposure is all. Yeah, I'm just not. I'm just not gonna do that right now. Especially when Tuesday of this week, this happened, and I got damn lucky. I missed veins and artery well there's no arteries but veins and tendons and shit i got damn lucky on that and i didn't even know if i was gonna be able to come out this weekend because of it but we got sutured up well not sutured up we got it closed up good i took care of it for a few days and now well, she seems to be right This is aggravating, so I need to go make this up in some miles. We're gonna maybe do the front half a little bit since we've done a lot of the back half. I don't recall. It's a decent amount mile wise to do this. I know the terrain's not bad. I have to see what she feels like. that in our current state it's just not wise and honestly if I'm gonna beat my demise out here it needs to be more epic than picket post let's be honest So, we need to be careful. We're kind of out of the sketch. If this doesn't bother me. If I fell down that, that wouldn't be too bad. So, the elevation doesn't bother me. It's, I guess, what they call exposure. And that, my friends, this Midwestern Flatlander is not equipped for the Appalachians. Yes, I've been in it been in a lot but we don't 
I don't know. We do have bad spots, but this is, just, you can't explain this. You just can't explain it. It's different. I'll tell you, I don't feel quite as comfortable out here as I do in there. And I don't know if it's the desert. Just that foreign and far away from everything I know. I don't know. It's not everywhere we go out here, but when we get situations like that, I don't know, maybe it's also just me being ignorant and not ever doing this shit. Oh, she's catching up. But I'm going to turn this off for a bit. We'll get back to and talk to her. What I was talking about is this little foundation that made me think a dying cactus in its profile in the dark looked like an old heat pump. But we're going to walk the front loop of picket post. Libby doesn't want to do nine miles. I was thinking it was more seven, but it's probably nine. 